Hey there, allergy warriors. Are your noses running faster than a track star? Are your eyes itching like they just binge-watched a tearjerker marathon? Well, before you point fingers at Cupid for shooting pollen-tipped arrows, let's talk about a culprit closer to home. Botanical sexism. Once upon a time, in a quaint land not so far away, nestled amidst rolling hills and winding streams, there existed a curious phenomenon a peculiar love affair with male trees. Huh? Yes, you read that correctly. What? Male trees, with their sturdy trunks and leafy canopies, captured the hearts of the inhabitants. At first glance, they may not have seemed like the most romantic of suitors, but in this enchanted realm, where love knows no bounds, even the pollen-blanketed branches whispered tales of devotion under the moonlit sky. Picture this. You walk into a whimsical garden straight out of a storybook, where the flowers bloom with mischief and the air is alive with dancing pollen particles. But wait, what's that? It's your allergies, personified as tiny, sneezy creatures holding an impromptu press conference. Dressed to the nines in miniature suits, they're pointing accusing fingers at perplexed city planners. Why so many male trees? Caught off guard by this unexpected question, a showdown ensues. It's a scene straight out of a quirky, plant-themed sitcom where the drama unfolds amidst the petals and pollen. Who knew allergies had such a flair for the dramatic? As the battle between humans and nature's tiny provocateurs rages on, one thing's for sure. In this garden of chaos, sneezes are the ultimate plot twist. Ah, the age-old question. Why are cities so smitten with male trees? It's like they're the botanical equivalent of that laid-back friend who never cleans up after themselves, but somehow always manages to charm their way into your heart. Male trees have been the go-to choice for urban landscapes for eons, hailed as the epitome of low-maintenance bros in the plant kingdom. With their lack of messy fruits and their abundant pollen production, they offer a hassle-free option for city planners everywhere. But let's pause for a moment and ponder, is it really worth sacrificing cleanliness on the streets for the potential of an allergy apocalypse? Sure, pollen may be nature's confetti, but nobody wants to spend their days sneezing like they just won the pollen lottery. So, dear city planners, maybe it's time to swipe left on the male trees and give diversity a chance. After all, a little messiness never hurt anyone, right? But wait, there's more. Let's hop in our time machine and zoom back to the 1940s, shall we? Like with all good stories, there's a villain lurking in the shadows. Enter Dutch Elm Disease, stage left. This unwelcome intruder disrupted the dominion of the elms, leaving devastation in its wake. And just like that, the once prominent elms vanished from the landscape, leaving behind a void to be filled. And how did cities respond to this arboreal crisis, you ask? with a swift and decisive shift towards the masculine tree option, of course. Because apparently in the world of trees, masculinity reigns supreme. It's a poignant reflection on outdated gender stereotypes and roles, wouldn't you agree? Picture this. The USDA, the trendsetters of the farm-to-table movement, were advocating for the supremacy of male trees and plantings. Why, you ask? Well, back then, the notion of messiness was about as fashionable as bell-bottoms and beehive hairdos. Streets were meticulously kept clean from the inconvenience of fruits and seeds, much to the chagrin of squirrels and aspiring orchardists. Fast forward to today in the midst of the spring season, we find ourselves practically swimming in pollen, thanks to these majestic arboreal pollen-producing factories. The vibrant hues of blossoming flowers and the gentle hum of bees collecting nectar create a picturesque scene, albeit one that comes with the inevitable sneezes and sniffles. Ah, the sweet smell of regret mingled with the promise of new beginnings. A chew. So here we are, surrounded by male trees, drowning in pollen, and pondering the folly of our arboreal affections. Fear not, fellow allergy sufferers. We've all been there, drowning in a swirling vortex of pollen misery, convinced we've accidentally wandered into a bee convention. But hold on to your tissues, because a botanical hero emerges from the foliage, the mighty female tree. 
Imagine these green goddesses as pollen-sucking ninjas, silently filtering the air, leaving us with blissful, allergy-free zones. Unlike their male counterparts, who fling pollen like confetti at a particularly enthusiastic wedding, female trees are the air purifiers of the plant world. So next time you're sniffling and sporting eyes that rival a bloodhound's, remember, it's girl power to the rescue. Just don't expect them to braid your hair or offer fashion advice. They're too busy saving the world, one sneeze at a time. All right, before you unleash your inner tree planting superhero and embark on the quest to create a forest straight out of a fairy tale, let's talk diversity, my green thumbed friend. Picture this your urban forest is like the Avengers, but with more chlorophyll and fewer capes, unless you're into that sort of thing. Just like Earth's mightiest heroes, a diverse range of powers and abilities is what makes them unbeatable. So, before you start casting spells to summon a legion of female trees, remember to sprinkle in some male counterparts and a dash of other tree types for good measure. It's all about creating a botanical dream team that can tackle anything Mother Nature throws its way. So, grab your shovel and your superhero cape, optional, and let's get planting. After all, with great biodiversity comes great responsibility and maybe a few less sneezes along the way. Listen up, landscaping aficionados. Before you dive headfirst into your next gardening adventure, let's talk about diversifying your plant posse. Think of it as upgrading from a botanical bachelor party to a full-blown garden gala. Because let's face it, who wants a party where everyone looks like a verdant doppelganger? Knowledge is power, people especially when it comes to picking the perfect pollen posse. We're talking low allergen heroes like ferns that'll have you saying fern-tastic instead of a coup. Let's turn our cities into vibrant, verdant havens where even the perennially puffy-eyed can frolic freely. So, dust off your trowels, slap on some sunscreen, and get ready to make the world a little greener, one allergy-free bloom at a time. Remember, as the famous botanist Billy Bob Budweiser once said, A diverse garden is a happy garden, unless you're allergic to, well, everything, but hey, at least it'll look stunning. What do you think about this tangled web of tree drama? Are you team male tree or pinning for the return of the gender-neutral elm? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. After all, every click brings us one step closer to world domination, or at least a forest of engaged subscribers. Until next time, keep your tissues handy and your allergy medication closer.